<laughs> Greetings viewers, Sardonyx here, and today, although I do say this very often in the videos, today is a very, very special video. For real this time. Um, now you know you guys in the haunted community, you may know good old Spook365. Um, they're a little channel, kind of a dicky little channel, you know, just a mom and her kids, you know, opening Halloween crap. You know, lots of us do that, opening Halloween crap. But, they didn't just open Halloween crap, they gave away Halloween crap. And so, here we are with this animatronic, because guess what the heck I did? I won a gosh darn g- Any humes, I won a gosh darn giveaway! And even though in my original comment I did say I was going to pick Buzzsaw, right here we have an animatronic I didn't even know was on the site, but I'm so blessed it was. Little Daisy and the Maestro. Um, I'm not gonna make this an unboxing, I'm just kinda gonna open him and, uh, you know, uh, do a little, kinda like the Young Crouchy video, except I'm showing the box. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him set up gonna, you know, show him, but, uh, thanks to Spook365 for their very awesome giveaway, I always love when Haunters do that, because it is a very big investment to give away something this expensive, but, um, yeah, I'm very, uh, blessed to have won it, and, uh, I'm really glad I got this guy, because, fun fact, I've been trying to get him for a few years, but since he's 300 bucks, you know, it's been kind of hesitant, but, you know, for free? gosh darn lootly! But I'll be right back, uh, yeah. Alrighty, here is Little Daisy and the Maestro fully set up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they didn't come with screws, so I kind of had to substitute in some places, and some places don't even have screws. The only places that do have screws currently are the shoulder frame and their heads, uh, and the screws are kind of loose, because I don't want to ruin the screw holders, uh, because they're kind of big compared to the actual screws that come with these guys. But, um... You know, he does look very nice, and I'm very glad I was able to set him up. His mouth movement was very not good, but as you can see, there's a screw in there, and it's making his mouth move a lot more. So, you know, I kind of expected to have to fix it because it's kind of a reoccurring issue, and uh, they didn't really make any new models of this guy. So, you know, I took it upon myself to fix it. Uh, but I'm really happy with him, especially having got him from a giveaway. Uh, he is very, very, very nice. Um, he is very loud. His clothing is immaculate. It's, like, very thick. Especially this, this, uh, shirt. It honestly feels like a real button-up shirt. Especially, um... For something like this, it's pretty much just a real button-up shirt. Daisy's dress is pretty standard, though. Um, her face sculpt is nice. Maestro's face sculpt is amazing. And uh, his movement looks really cool in person, especially with Daisy kind of mimicking the puppet motion. I like his rings, as you can see them. Got the uh, eye here, and you got the skull. And uh, yeah, I must say, compared to Henry, he is certainly a lot more solidly built. Um, of course, this is a new Henry, if you guys hadn't. Uh, noticed because my old Henry broke and this Henry is a bit beat up, but I am gonna get him repaired soon But even so I think Maestro is a bit better built than him uh, Maestro was certainly a lot simpler to build and uh, But he is pretty uh on par in terms of like clothing quality and like hand molds and face molds and all those jazz I will say I do appreciate the paint on his face a lot more than Henry's because Henry's face, the paint is very messy and it almost makes him look dirty. Like, um, on some models, it's like there's like a bunch of gunk near his eyes and stuff, and mine's like that too. But uh, Maestro's pretty clean, a uh, very solid face skull. Fixing the mouth was really easy too because the way they built his head is really simplistic. So, uh, I, I, as, as somebody who knew I was going to have to repair Maestro, uh, mouth movement. I was very blessed for that. But, uh, yeah, he was a pretty simple setup. The only complaint I have is that he didn't come with screws. But, that doesn't really matter, because, um, I did get him set up fully, so really won't matter in the long run, as long as I do eventually get set screws. But, yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording here, and, uh, do a little demo. Uh, 
Uh, let's go. His sensor's not the best, but she never there we go. eats, she never sleeps, she never speaks, but she knows how to haunt you. It seems I've trained her very, very well. <laughs> I adore the lights on um, the little crosses. Want to be a part of Here's my the math act? movement up close. I'll get you in my grips and you'll do whatever I say. Let me Come turn off the lights for this next fun. phrase, because he looks amazing in the dark. Ooh, spooky. Look what I have here. A live puppet for this undead puppeteer. Come any closer and you'll be joining in on the fun. <laughs> I extremely appreciate the um she never lights eats. She never sleeps. in the uh, crosses because a problem that I have with these kinds of props with a second character is that they never have lights. Like, for Skeevy and Chatters, it's perfectly justified. Obviously, they're not going to have lights. But Salty, you can't even see Willy in the dark. Malcolm is a good example as well. You can't see Nibbles in the dark. But these guys, they do have that, and I really appreciate that. And, you know, just overall, they kind of impressed me with their build quality and stuff. Because Henry kind of gave me a bad idea because he broke on me. But I'm still kind of warming up to the fact that it's just kind of... I do get a bit uppity about certain props that break on me, because then I just start hating them. But Henry, since he's fixed now and only needs some minor repairs, uh, he works fully mechanically, but there's just some cosmetic repairs that he needs. But, uh, you know, these guys are really nicely built. Just like I said, the only complaint I have is that they didn't come with screws, which sucks, but it's not detrimental. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about Little Daisy and the Maestro. Uh, it was just kind of a little review. I didn't really want to do a full unboxing, especially since I did a full unboxing on a uh, good old Bobo over here the other day. And, you know, my phone's been kind of dying during recordings lately because my phone battery is kind of uh, crappy. But I am going to try to find a way to avoid that at some point in time. But for now, this is uh, all I can really record. Uh, plus, I didn't really want to do an unboxing on this guy. But, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Sardonyx signing out. Make sure to subscribe. I got a big project coming up soon. And as well as Cry 3, hopefully, will release eventually. It's not in development hell. It's just a very, very big project. Uh, just for context. I hate to put this at the end of this video, so I'm just gonna put a little disclaimer. Uh, Cry 3. Yeah, Cry 3. You know, good old Cuddles. You know, good old, uh, Charlie. You know, good old Malcolm. You know, all those guys. Um... Yeah, Cry 3. So, it's not in development hell, it's just a very ambitious project, um, that it's kind of hard to tackle with everybody having school and all those nice things. So, it will be a bit, but Cry 3 will get out eventually, it just is a very big project. Cry 4 is already done being written, pretty much, uh, besides, like, a few paragraphs. So, Cry 4 will definitely take a lot less time, because most of Cry 3's development time has been on writing, and the actual editing time has only been a few months out of the year Cry 3 has taken. But, uh, you know, it'll come out soon enough, and I hope you all will enjoy it. It is quite literally one of the best um, pieces of, I guess, I don't know, it's one of my best pieces, writing-wise. And on Cry 4, we have a new writer... Um, who I will be announcing soon, because I'm trying to get Cry back in the spotlight. But, uh, you know, Cry's going well. I got a new big project regarding Stitches that is not the song. Not the song, the song. Uh, I still need to make a video for, but it's not the song. It is a Stitches project completely separate from that. That is very, uh, and not ambitious, but just a very nice project. And, uh, you know, that's all I gotta say. So, I'm signing out. Ha 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 ha!